Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can change the background color of a page section on a hover like this. We'll also use a little bit of code to adjust the opacity of a background section that has an image on a hover like this. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, there are some parts of this you're going to want to change. So let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll show you exactly how this works. So here we are in Squarespace and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1. We're changing up a page section, which is a feature that's only available in the latest version of Squarespace. But here's what we're going to do in this tutorial. We're going to change the color of the page section background. And then I also have a background here with an image. We're going to change that image opacity using some CSS. And then I'll teach you how to isolate an individual page section because I'm assuming you don't want this effect to happen for every section on your site. So let's go ahead and work with the code. We're going to navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. So this is the code that's listed below. It says page, page section, hover, section background, background color blue. And watch what happens when I move my cursor over the page section background. Both of them are turning blue. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you have an image for a page section background, nothing's going to happen because that image is going to be on top of the background color no matter what. So that's why we're going to change that opacity. But before we do that, I do want to mention I'm using the WebSafe color name blue, but you can use any color code you'd like. Let's change this to my favorite hex color code for this teal. And there we go. We're getting the same effect. Just adjust this color right here and the background color will change. Now let's talk about this image opacity. For that, what we're actually going to do is add the text IMG and then open up a curly bracket here and we'll say opacity 0.5. That means it'll be 50% transparent. IMG is shortcut for the image. So now when I hover over this, we're going to see that darker background color behind the image. We can reverse this too. Let's say we don't want any transparency on a hover. I'm going to change that 0.5 to 1. I'm going to duplicate this code here and we'll remove the word hover and adjust this to 0.5. Now it'll be 50% transparent unless I hover over it and then it'll be fully visible. So we'll recap on that here. We've got this main code that says on a hover, make sure that image has an opacity of 100% making it completely visible. But if I'm not hovering over it, make it 50% transparent, 0.5 opacity. That's how we're going to get that effect. And if you'd like to combine these, you absolutely can. I've added our original code as the third line here. So now we have this effect for the image and the page sections themselves are turning blue. Pretty cool, right? All right, now last but not least, let's isolate one page section. I'm gonna remove this image code here. And what I'm gonna do is click on this Chrome extension. I've linked to this in the description below. Not an affiliate, just a fan. Let's go ahead and grab the data section ID for that middle section. I'll turn off that Chrome extension and pay close attention here. I'm going to replace this part of the code where it says hashtag page dot page section. I'm going to paste the data section ID right there and I'm going to leave the semicolon hover dot section dash background. Now we're going to get that blue effect for that page section, but no other section on the site is going to get that change. Notice this one stays normal. This one is the one that's changing. Pretty cool, right? Again, I replaced hashtag page dot page section with the data section ID for that individual section that I wanted to have this change. No other section is going to be affected. Now, however you modify this code, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, all those codes I just shared are listed in the description below. Just make sure you adjust the color or the opacity, whatever code you're working with to make sure it looks perfect for your own website. I've also included a link to that Chrome extension that I use. Again, it's free and I'm not affiliated with them, just a fan, but you can grab that Chrome extension to easily isolate an individual section in your code. Just replace the word hashtag page dot page section with the data section ID, just like this. Alrighty, now that you understand what to do, have fun with those codes. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.